Hi, I'm Carl. In this video, we're going to go over two units, Unit 18 and Unit 19 of uh, Section 3 of the Blue Booklet. So this first question is question 51, and it's about amphiprotic molecules, which can donate and accept hydronium ions. So we've been given two reactions here, and we've been told what the acidity constant and what the base acidity constant are. So 51 says, the stronger a base, the what? So A says smaller its pKb value and the larger its pKa value of its conjugate acid. So the conjugate acid is produced whenever the base um, dissociates and the stronger the base therefore the stronger the acidity of that acid um, relative to the strength of the base originally and that's why you'd get a large pKa value for a very very strong base. And what about its pKb value? Well, this is one that you might not have seen before, but it's essentially the opposite of the Kb, because um, the pKb is going to be the minus log to the base 10 of the Kb. So the stronger a base is, the higher this value will be. And so whenever you take the negative log of that, the smaller the pKb will be. So for a very strong base, you'd expect its pKb to be very small and the pKa of its conjugate acid to be very high. So that means that the answer for this one is going to be A. 52 then talks about um, the intensity of sound that an ear can uh, cope with. And we're given a table and there's two um, useful values on this table and also an equation which we're going to use. We know that the threshold for pain is going to be 120 decibels at 1000 hertz. And that's going to be the threshold of pain. But normal conversation is going to be 60 decibels at 1000 hertz. And we're asked um, the change in sound intensity level from normal conversation to the threshold of pain corresponds to an increase in sound intensity by a factor of what? So we're given an equation here to actually work out the sound intensity. So let's work out, first of all, the sound intensity at the higher value, so when we're in pain. Um, we've got uh, an equation here, which is LP equals 10 log the intensity, which we're going to use in a minute, divided by 10 to the minus 2. We know that the value for LP is going to be 120 equals 10 log to the base 10 of I over 10 to the minus 12. If we divide both sides by 12, or by 10, sorry, we get 12 equals log the base 10 of i over 10 to the minus 12. So with our log rules, we know that 10 to the 12 is going to be equal to i over 10 to the minus 12. If we multiply both sides then, or divide both sides by 10 uh, to the minus 12, uh, we get 10 to the, sorry, if we multiply both sides um, by 10 to the minus 12, we get 10 to the 24. And so we end up with an intensity level of 10 to the 24 at the threshold of pain. Now, what about for normal conversation? Well, we have the same equation that we're going to use. Um, so I'll just um, skip to the second line. We have this here. OK, so we know that this is going to be 60 equals 10 log 10 i over 10 to the minus 12. If we divide both sides by 10, then we get 6 equals log 10 over i over 10 to the minus 12. Again, with our log rules, we know that 10 to the 6 is going to be equal to i over 10 to the minus 12. So if we multiply both sides, then we get 10 to the 18 equal to i. And we're going to look at the ratios between these two because that's going to show us the factor um, that the sign is increased by. So if we do 10 to the 24 divided by 10 to the 18, we get 10 to the 24 minus 18, which is 10 to the 6, which is the factor by which it increases when you go from normal conversation to the threshold of pain. And that gives us an answer in this case of C. So those were uh, units 18 and 19. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.